Hi, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the author of What is WebSphere and the SCGA, Sun Certified Java Associate Study Guide and Exam Question Book. Also the webmaster of technicalfacilitation.com with all sorts of portal, J2E, and Java tutorials. I'm also the webmaster of scja.com, helping you get SCGA certified fast. So head over there, take some of my free mock exam tutorials, and uh, while you're at it, um, always check out some of my sponsors if you like. Um, always helps out when somebody clicks on a, a Google ad or two. Anyways, one of the things that I wanted to talk about right now was uh, the idea that, well, sometimes you can have data clashes when data is sent to the server. So I've got a portlet here and I, I type a number in and I'm supposed to guess the number of the portlet. So I sent the number 5 to the server and this portlet figured out that I typed in the number 5 and displays some information back to me. Um, but how did that particular portlet know to grab that information? Uh, for example, I've got three portlets on this particular page here. Um, say I added the number guesser here. Um, how would the number guesser portlet know to grab the information typed in and not one of these other portlets? Um, as you can see inside of my code for the number guesser portlet, all I do is just say request.getParameter number and uh, I do that in the doView method and inside of my JSP file, well the parameter here is just number. Uh, what happens if on my portal page there's a, another portlet that asks for the number of shares that you want to trade um, or it asks for the number of lives that you have. Um, you know, if you keep submitting this particular value called number, other portlets may pick it up at, within the wrong context. So one of the things we want to do inside of our portlets is make sure that whenever we have a parameter that we're sending back to our portlet, that only our portlet gets that information. Uh, how do we do it? Um, well, we actually have to leave a lot of the heavy lifting up to the portal server. Um, the way we actually do it is by adding a, a little bit of a custom tag, or sort of a, a custom custom code into, into our, our portlets. So what I can do is I can take the render response object and there's a special method called get namespace which is a unique identifier for this particular portlet. And before I say you know name equals number, I say name equals render response dot get namespace number. That will then uniquely encode the unique identifier for this portlet on this page before that number. So I'm just going to take that there, copy that, put it right before that value there, and now when this information is submitted to the server, the unique ID associated with this particular portlet, that is the number guesser portlet, and really, specifically, this portlet on this page inside of this portal for this user is now that number value is uniquely identified. Now, the other rub is inside of the actual portal, inside of the actual portlet, so this is the number guesser portlet that grabs the information typed into the text field. So here I'm saying string number equals request dot get parameter number. And so that number there is really that number there. Well, now the number in the JSP has this unique identifier in front of it. I have to now put that unique identifier in front of this value as well. And so in order to do that, in order to do that, I put the unique identifier in front of the number. And so here instead of saying request.getParameter number, I say request.getParameter get parameter response dot get namespace plus the number which matches response render response dot get namespace number inside of the JSP. This now uniquely identifies that number field so no other portlets on any on the same portal page will try to react to that information. Now as far as the actual portlet goes, when you run the portlet and we'll allow this to recompile and refresh in the server. If I type in the number one, guess, try again, five, guess, the portlet behaves in exactly the same way. Okay? However, there won't be data clashes on the server. And the key to that is this, oh, extremely important 
get namespace parameter. And by the way, you shouldn't do it just for your attributes that you're sending to the server, but also for any JavaScripts that you have on a page. You should preface them with the unique identifier as well, because you don't want other portlets calling your JavaScript or your portlet calling the JavaScript of other portlets. I mean, if every portlet has a validate method, you could run into a lot of trouble if you've got four or five different validate methods on a page. In fact, I think a lot of browsers will actually cough up if there's more than one JavaScript method with the same name. So that is the importance of uniquely identifying your fields. Now, for most of the examples that I do in my book, and most examples I do on the website, I actually don't put that in just to try and simplify some of the code, but it's extremely important. In production code, you always should encode the namespace of your parameters. Okay, that's about it. As I said, I am the webmaster of pulpjava.com, technicalfacilitation.com, and scj.com. I would love it if you went to Amazon, charged like five or six copies of what is WebSphere to your boss. Um, you should have an expense account by now. Maybe even a couple of the exam scam SCGA guides. It would definitely help out my bottom line. And if you can't do that, at least visit one or two of my sponsors in the Google Ads. Anyways, that's about it for now. The last thing I'm going to say is happy WebSphere.